Hello and welcome back to Blackwatch Intel. My name is Crashy and today I'm going to be talking about Doomfist again. So there's been a lot of discussion going on in the community, on YouTube and such about whether or not Doomfist is overpowered or actually even viable. And I kind of just want to give my perspective, talk about his kit, talk about how I've experienced him in the competitive format now that he's available and kind of paint the picture of where I think he falls in terms of balance. So the biggest thing He's overpowered. He has a one shot every four seconds. And well, they nerfed Roadhog. Well, let me go ahead and talk about that one really quickly because I've seen this excuse or this kind of complaint a lot. And it, it doesn't really resonate with me because Roadhog was a 600 health tank that could heal himself. That was amazingly hard to kill and ultimately just doesn't really need to one shot someone every, you know, four to six seconds or whatever the cooldown was. And I think it was both. And um, comparing that to Doomfist just seems a little nonsensical to me because Doomfist is a very divey mobility, very squishy with a massive hitbox, you know, kind of damage dealing offense DPS hero. And so the immediate rebuttal to that is that he puts himself at a very, you know, risky position every time he tries to get that rocket punch off. And if you're not listening to the audio cues, if you're not, you know, paying attention to what you're facing and positioning properly and looking for capitalization of his kit, then I have to say it's on you for not, you know, positioning properly, countering properly, or just ultimately, you know, being in a position that you know is safe. Because ultimately, where you're standing, what you're doing in a match, whatever happens next is a result of the decisions that you made and, and, and the things that happen toward you that you have to react to. And that's just a fact. You you have to make decisions in game that put you in positions to capitalize for success. And if that didn't happen, well, then it was you or your team that chose poorly. And that's that's the reality of the game. That's the reality of how you win. That's the reality of how Overwatch is played. So, is Doomfist overpowered? No, I don't really think so. I think he has a very strong ultimate that sometimes I don't even get kills with. And sometimes I get multiple kills with. I think he has a insta-kill for a lot of heroes every four seconds, and sometimes it gets me killed when I try, and that's okay. And I think he's very mobile, which is very nice. And he also has quite a bit of counters. It's it's actually surprising, and I'm going to list some of my like most dreadful counters, because I have been pretty much non-stop playing Doomfist since he went live on competitive on Thursday. But we'll get to those counters in just a second. So is Doomfist underpowered? Well. No, absolutely not. I don't think Doomfist is even close to being considered underpowered. He's maybe high skill ceiling is the best way to explain him. And I, I've talked about it before. If you can maximize his potential, if you can, you know, do the footsies game and understand your win condition and understand how to find picks without getting yourself killed, or even sometimes just trade one for one in scenarios where that's favorable. Well, then, yeah, you can do a lot with Doomfist. I do think that he's going to be considered one of the harder heroes in the game, though. At least for now, until people start to figure him out, start to learn how to counter him and such. But, I mean, I added him on that video, and if you haven't taken a look at that, I'll go ahead and link that, or I'll put that in the YouTube card. I put him at the third most hardest hero in the game. He's, he's definitely an interesting character. He's a lot like Genji to me, and I think that's why I gravitate toward him a lot as a Genji main. Because you're very mobile, you're all in their face, you're constantly looking for the kill, but you really don't have that many defensive cooldowns. You have your rocket punch to get away, which you usually use to go in or to find your kill. So you have to wait four seconds and survive for four seconds. And then you have your rising uppercut, which is honestly used to either secure kills or just to try to get the hell out of there because that's what you have to do sometimes. So I don't think he's underpowered. I don't think he's overpowered. I think by all definitions of what I've said so far, I think he's fairly balanced. I think they could make some changes to him if it becomes an issue maybe in the pro scene and it trickles down, but I really don't see that happening. I think countering him is going to be fair enough, and I think that it's not going to be an issue to see his viability in the game. I think he will be a decent pick. I think he's going to be a strong pick as it you go down the rank some, and uh, I think it's just going to take a little bit of time for people to learn what they want to do. So having said that, Let's go ahead and talk about some of his counters. This is one that I haven't heard very often, and it's just like being a Genji player. Torbjorn destroys Doomfist. You have to deal with the turret. You you know you most of the time need help dealing with the turret. If you go all in on the turret, you're gonna die. 
and you don't even get a pick for it. So Torbjorn absolutely destroys him. I've seen Junkrat thrown around, and honestly, from my perspective, sure, the trap is nice, and the spam damage is kind of frustrating, but I don't view Junkrat as a counter at all. I just kind of destroy the Junkrat and keep moving. But I will say that Sombra, Farah, and McCree also just give Doomfist a ton of trouble. Widowmaker kind of, but not so much, and even Hanzo kind of, but not so much. But I don't really want to list them as counters because you know how those heroes are. They're very niche and they're very, you know, particular in their value on a team anyway. So I don't want to list that and have you guys plan those heroes and, uh, <laughs> and frustrating your teams or tilting them off the face of the earth. So... Those are the bigger counters. Sombra is really frustrating. McCree can be very frustrating to play against. Even Soldier can actually be very frustrating if you can keep the, the distance between you and the Doomfist. If you can dodge the first rocket punch and really land your Helix, you're probably going to win because the burst is pretty insane. So that's today's video. I just wanted to kind of clear the air on what I think about Doomfist and where he sits balance-wise. Maybe talk a little bit about his counters. Farah, man, it's you basically can't hit her <laughs> if you're playing Farah. The Doomfist will not get to you. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Please do not leave without leaving a like. Check out the Blackwatch Intel Twitter because we do post updates and thoughts and stuff on there. And you'll always know whenever one of our videos is live. And if you haven't already, subscribe for future content. We're going to be pushing out as many topics and things relevant to our interests as we can. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video. Do you see the sparks that I'm setting free? Does the beat?